Welcome back, everybody. You're with us here on Cape Rugby TV. Remember, you can find us on www. Well, you can find us on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. We bring you all the, the results, the logs, the fixtures, the highlights, and all the action from Western Province Club Rugby. It's fantastic to have you along. You're on Cape Town TV, DSTV, channel 263. Certainly South Africa's biggest, if not only, club rugby uh, TV show. And I've uh, been going for, well, 13 years now where we focus on Club rugby across all of the leagues. This past weekend saw a lot of action. Let's quickly take a look at some of the results that takes us through to the uh, semifinals at um, City Park this weekend. Well, it was a win for Durbel, 22 points to 20 over, at least for Helderberg, 22 to 20 over Durbel. And then, of course, last week, Wednesday, saw Marty's beating UWC. So those teams, of course, in the mix for this weekend. Uh, in Super League B, Langa with a win over Young Peoples, 35-17. CPUT, we beat Belleville, um, uh, 8 points to 6. And then All Saints, they went down to hands and hearts, 14 points to 19. While in Super League C, it was a win for Crowfontaine, 31-18 over Goodwood. And Hummer Diaz, well, they scored a win over Busy Bees. So those are your teams, folks, that, of course, scored their wins this past uh, weekend. A lot of action, and those are the teams then that are going to be playing, uh, the winning teams there that are going to be playing in the semifinals this weekend. Let's uh, quickly take a look at the results in the Paul region. Of course, it was a win for Riverstones, 39 points to 3 over Peril United. Paul Rangers, well, they went down to Young Gardens, 36-21, and then Lower Paul, 24-8 over Violets Paul. Um, Jerome, the Paul region has uh, seemed like it sort of turned on its head in the last um in the last uh, year, uh, certainly young standards and young gardens have been really playing out of their socks. Um, it is a bit of a change um, from the dominance of Paul Rangers and Lower Paul. We have seen for so many years now that those finals have been uh, Lower Paul or Paul Rangers, but something has changed in the Paul region. Something for young gardens and young standards is different this year. Yeah, it is, and it's it's al it's always good for rugby. I mean, the development of the sport. You don't always want to see the two or three teams dominate and always be in the final. So I think it's it's good for the people in Paul to go out there and to watch some other games also. Yeah. So, um, folks, of course, the promotion league is also running at the moment. Um, coming up this weekend, Salorians are going to be up against uh, Strand United. Yara, your fixtures. Whistling Wheels against Elsie Sophia, Atlantis against Titans, and then Manenberg Rangers are going to be up against Gardens. A lot of action in the promotion league. These are the teams that are going to be looking for promotion uh, to get into uh, Super League C. And if you take a look at the log here now, you'll see that Strand United is uh, sitting at number one on the log. They're followed by Atlantis, who's sitting at number two. And then at number three, it's Gardens. And then at number four, um, uh, Solorians and five is Elsie Sophia. Jerome, looking at this log here, um, Elsie Sophia uh, and Gardens have got well, they've the log table is sort of leveling out a little bit there. Um, but Atlantis still has a game in hand. Um, we also know that Strand United have got a game in hand, so the permutations really are, are, are very close there. Whistling Wheels still have two games in hand, and Whistling Wheels are sitting at number six on the log. For Elsie Sophia, Whistling Wheels, um, and um, uh, Salorians, uh, they will now know that they've got to put, uh, make sure that they, they get their last points um, if they're going to get above Atlantis or Strand United. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot, lot for them to still play for I mean, with the games in hand that they have. So, yeah, but I must say Atlantis did well this, this whole season. They yeah. were, uh, also Elsie's River. Well done, well done to them, but like there's still teams with games in hand, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah. To see. This weekend, of course, we're going to see Macassar um, uh, in um, uh, the uh, semi-finals, folks. So we've got a lot of action still coming up this weekend um, in Super League C. Macassar are going to be up against Hummer Diaz, and then Van der take on Cryfontaine. Um, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the Macassar Strand game. We we'll get some idea from uh, Jerome.
Right, uh, Jerome, um, of course, Macassar uh, Strand there. Um, there was a time in the log where Macassar was a little bit up and down, but they managed to get it to, 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 to get to where they needed to be, and that is into the semis. Yeah, look, the last few games they were very consistent, as we also can see in the game that they played now there. Uh, very competitive. So, yeah, it's good, good for Macassar um, where they are. They've always been competitive. It's always tough to go and play there. So, yeah, well done for them to make the semis. Looking at the game there, um, that was, of course, a nice dry game there for them. Um, what, what would you say are, are some of the strong points? What, what, I, what I'm seeing, again, is, is, is running rugby. If we compare that to the Super League A sides where we saw much more forward dominance, the, the concentration was much more about, you know, the, let's say the forwards dominating the game. When we get down to Super League C, we're seeing much more running rugby. Yeah, look, it's almost like the guys are fearless. It's, they play, it's entertaining rugby, the yeah. crowd love it. So they just spread the ball, and, but not without, you can see there's some structure also yeah. in it, but they're not afraid to run the ball. Yeah. For Macassar, also visiting City Park, um, and they're going to be up against Hamadiers. Hamadiers is going to be a little bit closer to home for them because City Park is just around the corner. Is this going to be like a home game for Hamadiers? It can be because obviously Hamadiers know the, uh, like you say, it's quite close to City Park. They know the wind conditions. They know the area yeah. quite well. Macassar traveling. Um, so, yeah, it must be a little bit of a plus for Hamadiers close to City Park. <laughs> Yeah, right. And then, of course, our other game is Fundestal up against Crawfontein, folks. Uh, Crawfontein had a win over Goodwood this past weekend. Goodwood's had a fantastic season as well. And Fundestal are uh, gonna, uh, doing a little bit more long-distance traveling to get to City Park. Right, folks? Well, of course, as you know, every week we run our SCORE Energy Drinks competition where we give you a photograph that you can see if you can spot the team. So um, let's uh, take a look at this week's um, spot the team competition. Um, right. Jerome, you've had a chance to look at it there. Um, right. We need to give our folks a couple of clues. Um, let's just say that this is a very busy team. You know, yeah. they, they have a lot of action. They've got... Yeah. And they share the field. They share the field on the other yeah. side. We don't want to give too much away. We don't want to give too much away. But do you, do you, you have got an idea who it is? And it's got something to do with honey also. Something to do with honey? Yeah. I, don't, I don't think you should be giving people clues, Jerome, because <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, oh, it's got something to do with honey. Okay, all right. I, I get it. I get it. Okay, maybe yes. Maybe you should give me clues, but I'm no good at it. Folks, go to our Facebook page and see if you can spot the team. www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. Jerome is giving cryptic clues that even I can't figure out. But it is a big weekend coming up this weekend. And if you enter the competition, you can put yourself in the mix to win a case of score energy drinks. And we'll, of course, reach out to you on Facebook Messenger to get hold of you so that you can come collect your case of score. Uh, Jerome, um, Rugby World Cup, Springboks are playing. Um, I know everybody's saying it was a great game. I'm a little bit 50-50 on the performance um, of the Springboks. But nevertheless, uh, they that, that was the important one. They needed to get their first win out, the, out, the, uh, out of the, off the cards. Yeah, look, it wasn't good. It's ugly. But I suppose people were thinking after they beating the, the New Zealand by that big margin, it's going to be the same which is also good. So you don't want to play all your cards now. It's still yeah. a lot of games to be played. Yeah. So manage to win the games. They must just win the game, keep on winning the game, playing ugly rugby, winning the <laughs> game, get the bomb squad <laughs> in, get your points and win the World Cup. So yeah, yeah. You got plans for City Park this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to definitely be there from watching all the games. It's yeah. going to be interesting. I always go and watch all the games there. I mean, obviously, you're going to be there with your camera. And watching yep, we'll be filming all the games. You'll be able to see all the game highlights next week on Cape Rugby TV. Jerome, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Always a pleasure, and good luck to the teams for this weekend, and uh, may yeah. the best team win. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's uh, exciting stuff, yeah. Right, folks, that's a wrap from us. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>